Gibbs Free Energy Revisited. I was surprised to see that Gibbs Free Energy is a regular visitor to the exam, so I thought we should go back over it and uh, underline some important points so that um, you will have a straightforward time when dealing with it on the exam. Okay, so first of all, Gibbs Free Energy. We already discussed that if delta G is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. If it's positive, it's not spontaneous. If delta G is zero, then the reaction is at equilibrium. Delta H, of course, is enthalpy. If it is negative, it is exothermic. Energy exits the reaction, is, uh, is given off. And if delta H is positive, then it's endothermic. Energy is required for the reaction to take place. Temperature is, of course, SI units, so the temperature is in Kelvin, and that means the temperature is always positive. Okay, so it's always that there's a negative sign there, but the temperature, the value for the temperature is always positive. Um, you know, the lowest that Kelvin can go is absolute zero, but it's never been actually obtained. Very, 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 very close though. Anyway, uh, delta S. Uh, delta S, of course, is the entropy, and um, when entropy increases, meaning you have more randomness, then delta S is positive. And when entropy is decreasing, meaning something is getting more ordered, then delta S is negative. So, uh, first of all, let's say that um, a delta H is positive. If uh, delta H is positive, and delta S is negative, this is a negative times a negative, this makes this positive, this is already positive, that means that uh, delta G will be positive, so the reaction is not spontaneous. So it's not spontaneous in a situation where energy is required and the products become more ordered, so that's not a spontaneous situation. Next. Let's imagine that uh, delta H is negative, so it's an exothermic reaction, and delta S is positive, so um, we have increase in randomness. So increase in randomness and energy is being given off, so that means that the products are at a lower level, more stable than the reactants. Well, this is um, a negative delta G, right? Because this is positive, and this is always positive, so that makes this term negative, and this is negative, so that means delta G is necessarily going to be negative, no matter what the numbers are, and therefore it necessarily will be spontaneous reaction. That's not the problem. <laughs> There's not a problem when the signs are different between enthalpy and entropy. The, problem, the challenge becomes uh, when the signs are the same. So, for example, when we have this is negative, then it makes this positive, negative times negative, so it makes this positive. But then this is negative. If this is positive and this is negative, I know some students, they think that any exothermic reaction, when delta H is negative, means that the reaction will be spontaneous. Well, you'll see now that's not necessarily true. So here's an uh, exothermic reaction, but if uh, delta S is negative, making this positive, everything depends on the value of the temperature, the magnitude of the temperature. If the temperature is very high, it makes this term extremely positive, and then it overrides the, del the negative delta H, and then it can make um, uh, delta G uh, positive. So it really depends on um, the temperature. So, uh, so that, um, okay, so that creates a delta G that's positive. Now, if, if we have endothermic, so, and, and the reason why that's important, that it creates a, a delta G that's positive if the temperature is high enough, is because the delta G being positive uh, means that the reaction would not be spontaneous. Exothermic, but because the temperature is high enough, not spontaneous. So that's um, a very interesting. And so uh, here in this situation we have positive, so it's endothermic, and this is positive, but that makes this negative if this is positive. And so if the temperature is high enough, this negative 
area will override the endothermic part, and then it can make uh, delta G negative. So delta G can be positive or negative when the signs are the same. So you can't say it'll always be this or always be that when the signs, when the signs are different, it's easy. And when the signs are the same, then temperature can override uh, what's happening in the equation. And sometimes they'll actually ask you a question like that to see if you understand that temperature will dominate, depending on what the values are, temperature will dominate the expression and therefore uh, decides what uh, the delta G value is in a particular situation.